Hello everyone, today I will introduce you how to use Visual Studio to make a project that create a simple calculator. First of all, let's consider a calculator on Windows. I say it's calculator. Uh, it has a lot of functions, but the main reason here is just test to display the number you will enter. Uh, the keypad from 0 to 9 uh, operation divided multiple subtract s and equals enter command uh, the negative and positive numbers the boy in flock number and another now I will make a symbol calculator with only test display the number bus and four function with enter key. Another function is the exercise for you. Now I will open Visual Studio. Here I use Visual Studio 2009. Sorry, to Visual Studio 2019. Let's jump it a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, here you visual zero two thousand two thousand nineteen and make a new project with a function here create a new project here I draw by C sub for window application let's see it. window form application here two versions first is .NET Framework and .NET Core as uh, the assignment uh, first with .NET Core is a multiple platform .NET Framework which is only used for Windows our class is Windows programming so I will say that's .NET Framework .NET Core is a uh, homework exercise for you .NET Framework and I select the button here Windows Forms of Application .NET Framework C sub language. C sub language uh, you have learned on uh, object oriented programming language, as I remember. So select and I select next. Here with your project name, I see calculator location. You can select location. This is a place on the computer you store the project. I select is a new folder. And that's a new folder. Some problem, problem. I select another place in my documents. Calculator and it is optional. You can choose play solution and project in the same directory. If not, it will separate us. .NET Framework. I use 4.7.2 You can select another version It depends on your Windows I have also 4.8 4 But 4.7 is enough for me Create
Hey, uh, in the file of Visual Studio 2018, uh, let's look around it. First of all, it's on the left side, it depends on the computer. Whereas Solutions is broader, it's all on the finance and configurations configur configur on the project. Here is the uh, forms1.cs program cs. The main file is the program CS. It's the entry boy, entry boy or program. Here, the yeah, application, application subject, and it's start by a form. Uh, before up, uh, about solution is polar is the properties window. The property property window use when you design a form. Here you have some property of form here. Here is the properties in the order of uh, alphabets. I need to choose only property and the uh, events uh, on the window form that handle the almost is uh, on the events. Window a program means by on the event based on the event. Uh, here is some property you can change. For example, in the form, we first change is the um, title. Here, title form form one. You can change is the calculator form one here. Calculator. Okay, as you can see, the calculator here. And another properties for the more size, size when you resize, you could change. And I can another function is is a task for you. Okay, now next I will consider the error list window is about the form. This solves the error when you build projects. And on the top, this is the menu, menu file for Visual Studio. We have file edit, view, project, build, and a lot of different things you can see. But almost time we use is the uh, peel and debug. What is this? Peel is the uh, view solution. It means that project to uh, SS file is executed on the window. You can just review. Example is the uh, is this lies on here. It shows us how success, fail, or skip. Here, success status. It's okay for this project because we didn't write anything. And here we have some data, data sources at Acure server and server is blogger. It's for data 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 when you use with this window form. Here it just says are you SQL? SQL that it says here and finally it's very important is the tone box it's our own control almost everything control every own uh, control that we use in a project uh, okay so let's do in the calculator uh, first we will rename it formos because form once is not a good name, so we choose better form is F I M forms and main main program. It shows the one means that rename a file and we rename on the um, class name. Select yes. What happened is this because I have a view code. 
I click right click on the form and select view house to search sock house and here is a new name it is a inheritance from the form such from the form class okay let's do in the designer we self on process first let's consider we need a button here zero one two three four and a test box test replace because this only display so I use the label if the test we can modify it we will use uh, test box label and test box I have a video box on the LMS that's so how to use it so you can revise this video these videos to know what is this now I will use the label so from the toolbox here is flush so we can select this to fix the function ok now I search the yeah, label ok I left click and left click and drop it into the form left mouse click and drop first I need a name what is its name is the variable name that we will call it later so it has the format label is LBL and as that is the name for here is the display I need a uh, last font size for it, so I change the font here, and we can see a better font times New Romans, and this size is better, maybe bigger. Thirty six, okay, uh, in the left. Uh, test we don't need this this and this zero and we need this alignment on the right of the form so we need alignment alignment properties is the let's see is alignment where is this? Test align. Uh, click and select middle and right. Okay. Now, we have number buttons 0 to 9. I select I search <coughs> for the button. We, I have a button video on LMS, so how about use button in project? You can watch this. I drop and trap. It is a first zero. Uh, we need a uh, name btn for buttons and zero okay test display this is zero and form font ten Picture okay now others but keep us just only copies and base 
right click and copy and right click paste zero just consider zero one two three zero one change is in the name btns one dash once okay now let it be faster press key control and C control and V that almost key program model one two C and V on the key and after that we modify it zero one two four five six seven control C and V We have nine. Okay, now check one, two, and two, three. Four. We need a name because it's a lot of buttons, so we can manage what kind of button that press ptn five ptn six ptn seven what happened one two three four ah, eyes bts a and BTN 9 Okay, now change that's 1, 2 3 4 Seven, A, A. Nice. Okay. We have the pass and here is the uh, divide is multiply, subtract, S and equals, enter. One, two, three, four, five, five key. One, two, three, three. Copy. Another two. Make it look better. Uh, echo. Multiply right. yeah. and divide it. Where is this key? So I see to you see divided. It's better to see this this character. Okay. Now let this side better is here and smaller plus five a little bit higher uh boy and subtract and divide two number Okay. 
better are smaller to display. Now I will modify its name to its PTN um, KS is side for positive and negative one PTN one uh, PTN users results subtract at btn at btn subtract btn multiply and divide it BTN. BTN is stand for button. Okay. Now this is the interface we have calculator on the button to press the operator sign number. Now let's consider the event. Uh, as I said before, Windows pro programming is programming by on the event. Events that when saw the interface, you have events as the mouse clicks is one event. And what happened after handle this is called event handle. Events handling. So how to handle it from interface? We can use, for example, is this button press we will, we can view it on the this e event and click on this we say it a lot of event here for example when back color change change in UI case or uh, a lot of stuff you can search on the net here I consider the click event I double click on this text box and we have what happened after the button one click so now I will say it uh, into a list of, of numbers so here as processing for calculator we need two number is a current number and previous number uh, I use uh, for flaws here is into I is use form the are in private. Private. You for this form. Uh, double for this and num. Uh, private. And double and gray. Okay, when press uh, button zero, it will first uh, display this here and display what how to is uh, I see you case this to reference to this form bond uh, label LBL display dot test. Uh, I S uh, zero to that display. In this way, okay. Let's see how is display. Mm, so, I guess you see is. 
Oh, mau let's try. Okay, and test. You saw. On the right, it's not good. So, I modify it. First, uh, I will introduce how to run the process. Just click start button. It's a short way to go to debug. Debug, it means that uh, debug, start debugging. Debug, you saw and what happened in programming and find the bug. But it's the error when writing programming. And now I change it on test display. It's the alignment. I set up properties, test alignment. Okay, now we change the test in label align to the right. First, we need a uh, test align. Here is the middle right, it's okay, but why is not alignment? Because one is the with property, it's the uh, auto, auto size, it's much set to fourth. And we resize by hand to full up. Okay, let's see. Let's start. Okay, press zero zero. Oh, it's okay. Now we consider for example, is when press one, what happened? We add one to this label. We can create an event by click in this event or uh, double click for button is for event is a uh, mouse click mouse click double click is one and we did like same copy control c control v uh, one this is a okay see what happened Uh, zero one. It's something wrong. Zero. Not zero here. We need a uh, constraint in this condition. So how to do this? Uh, instead of as direct to this, we can do in another way. That's first one. I. I do another private number. Suppose the temp for number is and now I press. Convert, convert from string to double string here. Is a test. See what happened. One, zero, one, zero. It's strong.
Now we proceed in another way. First, when can we consider if the display is only zero? So we didn't try anything. So let's check it. If uh, equal return in the number one. We also check uh, it means that no number, so we not returns. We change it. Uh, this test equal and as this. Okay, right. Ah, sorry, one error here. We can click on swear button here to stop. Ah, now it's test this. Zero. Nothing. One. Zero. One. 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 Zero. Zero. Okay. It's fast. Let's process for another key pass. Two. The same. Uh, two. Three. Same double click and open this key event handle. One, two, three. Okay, now run this. Check. Every time when you write some function, you should check this is okay or not. Because when you write a lot, it is very difficult to follow. Where is the bug? One, two, three, zero, two, three, one, zero. It's okay now. Now let I handle the event is the uh, blast. What happened? Blast. Uh, first when click plus, we need the uh, current number. Yeah. It is display on the test so current equals convert one two double uh, this label L B L Okay, after that I add it to previous number here. First of all I initialize this previous number. So I see zero. I add it Number as because the button at so I you operator at here plus here. Okay, now after plus I saw the result. So this as equal. Uh, this number uh, is the uh, actual string for my you can use uh, some hint for this function so I use symbol is the zero and it is the previous 
Erase the value here, so we choose uh, delete after click uh, that here. So, how to do that? Mm. Sorry, we not display, we just display after press uh, equal right uh, here with two plus three and equal here so we source uh, here we need a uh, flat that's to recall that when press uh, operator button so I you private one uh, equal one it means that now press operator so this flat echo font means that we did not press the button L corner if L M plus he will just assign to you. Same for one. Same for two. And three, three. Okay, when well, please as we have this line with uh, I think this place was red plus. Two. And after this, I says flat two equal one again. For us, it's a control variable. So now, what button have pressed? Is it number or operator? Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, because we now handle for the number four, five, six, just one, two, three. Okay, so now interface plus and when press equals, it will display the results here. So I double click, mouse double click to handle it.
Ah, tia Sal. Resell. And reset. Zero. And flat. Let's see. One, two, two, three, eight, eight, thirty four. What? Okay. What? What? Why is wrong? Because at we process here. We just press when press plus and the last number we didn't so how to handle it. We must know we must know what the operator clicks before the last click for echo. So it's here. So I use one another uh, for some work private. Uh, integer it all has is the operator so operator is the keyword so it now allows to adjust it power of upper equal minus one is no operator press so when Click on add is a upper echo zero and here I say I consider if upper echo zero it means that the add button is click so Okay, let's see. One, two, plus two, three, equal forty five. Yeah, okay. Plus one, two, equal plus C, two, equal this. Plus zero equal okay. Now we have on operator for plus add. Mm. We see when it's play it not says minus, so we should transform that smaller here. It's okay. Uh, now I process for another case is a uh, minus subtract. Now I handle for subtract. Was same for it. Same for it here. Sorry. I is a subtract one subtract if L Copy. Let's run it. <coughs> okay, let's run it. What 
happen here? <laughs> Let's say first error. Stop it. Problem here because when nothing previous number is zero and the first time we press we enter the number and press minus subtract it will get zero subtract the current so it's a negative number so we will handle handle it when press in if different with zero yep. okay if the previous number is zero we didn't do anything and this will handle before this okay let's start Three minus two minus three equal what happened? Again, check again. Okay, I say is it. Guys, it doesn't so on way is zero. So here we just handle on the second number, not the first number. So I use another flash. It means that second num from beginning. Second um, a phone. Yep. Then press click on subtract. What happened here? Yeah. Yep. Second. No second name. We will. You don't need it. Mm. Also the same for S. And we reset second name when press reset. Now let's check it again.
Let's debug it and I will show you how to debug what's wrong with program. We use mouse on one line, right click and crack point insert crack point. Now we debug star F5 start with debugging. The first one minus here we see flash. We can use a uh, window watch as a uh, flash font second num debugging is one of the more important okay we run this uh debug step is the F10 or F11, F10 for skip function of E1 subtract second num from second num 2. Okay, I did another thing. Minus 2 minus. We say second num is 2. Okay, I saw this program here. When the first time we assign this to previous num, okay, I say now if we keep this track point it will stop at this line so we need to remove it right click move the mouse in this track point like right click and to disable and run again it was start debugging one minus two just three minus one not this place Check again. We check again this display one, two, two. Okay, I say yes. And it's so this results. Okay, here's I demo you how to write a calculator. I write the function for number 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, subtract and add the remand 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, divide and multiply is on start for you. Uh, it's the negative positive and handle for flock number. It also one of the assignment for you. And here I will show you I will show you how to more 
clear about the op operation here with we know that it is 0 for s1 for subtract but for another person it's very difficult to know what happened with 0 or 1 so we use a uh, ties in C subs it is uh, enum enumerable Here I add one class enum. Here I right click on project to add to add another new item. I see enum is this here now. So maybe it's just only class code. Uh, code five class. It's okay, and it's I say it's the uh, upper right the with uh, all its uh, super case to distinguish with the keyword of the set. Here, I know the class a U A num. And it's the first the S subtract S subtract and multiply divide power right there. Huh? And now how to do this map? Uh, instead you in I use uh, operator yeah. Off. and first I size the upper I can add more operator is the end. nothing is the okay and yeah at least upper is operator as easy to know that the operator is the add and operator add operator subtract operator Okay, be away. Run one, two, three, minus two, three. They go, yeah, two, three, two, three, four, two, six, one, two, three, one, two. Here's one of this uh, previous uh, operator, but this acceptable.